bedroom. Okay, they got a little face right there. Right there, you see that? Okay, mm-hmm, family show, right? Hey, it's Lance McGowan here, and today I'm going to go over a Reddit post of somebody that said, I'm done with Young Living, thanks to you. Oh snap, so here is the post. I will have a link in the description so you can learn more as well. Let me drink some water, because this is... Mm. Thirsty for the truth. Here we go. Or whatever they got to say here. Okay. <laughs> So basically this person starts off with saying, my first post on Reddit, all right? My younger, cooler brother introduced me to Reddit and I am very grateful. This subreddit and the Dream Podcast have helped me officially quit Young Living. So thanks you guys. I mean, this is the anti-MLM thread or the anti-MLM subreddit. So this is what they're referring to. And they said, I bought my starter kit last May after seeing posts from a college roommate about how great essential oils are. Okay, so social media kind of, you know, helping people with their purchasing decisions makes sense. I had no interest in joining this amazing community of oily mamas. Okay, all right, so, but you, they did. So what's up with that? Okay, but we'll, we'll, we'll see here, we'll, we'll continue reading. So I just bought from the site directly, thinking it was a regular e-commerce site. Okay, so it sounds like they didn't understand how it's important to go through a distributor or the person that's actually doing the business. So, miscommunication or misunderstanding there, it looks like that's easy to do, but that's why I also do videos and educate people. But anyways, let's continue reading. They said, I was perfectly vulnerable at that time for this type of bull Hmm. <laughs> okay, well, they need to watch their mouth while they at it, okay? Alright, so they say, my baby was diagnosed with food sensitivities and eczema, and I was growing increasingly annoyed with traditional Western medicine. There had no... What in the world? There had no answer. Okay, so... <laughs> excuse, I'm just reading what they said here. It's a little tough sometimes. Alright, they had no answer for why so many kids have allergies these days, and the treatments for his skin seemed really harsh. Prescription steroid creams, putting him to bed in wet PJs, and putting a teaspoon of bleach in his bath. Oh my goodness. I did, and still do, to a degree, think that there are other more natural options to consider. Diet, environment, and yes, household and beauty products. I used distilled lavender oil for his skin and Young Living brands of diaper cream, lotion, and shampoo. I also used Thieves Cleaning Concentrate and totally got caught up in buying loads. Oh my. All right, now, family show here. Okay. <laughs> of, oh, lost my place. Of oils for myself, I made rollers, diffused them, made DIY products, used them on my face, and yes, put drops of them in my water and noticed that ingesting them gave me like symptoms, which really freaked me out. So whenever taking oils like that internally, it depends on a lot of things, right? The quantity that's taken, um, as well as how much you diluted, and they said if they took them internally, they had, you know, maybe a, a negative experience with regards to that. Then we have to look at the quality of the oils as well, that's a factor, how often they took it. So there's a lot of things that can contribute to that um, without knowing what's going on. Some oils can cause a detox reaction depending on what is already going on in the body. So just because you have a negative experience doesn't mean that could have been potentially avoided, but it also could be a sign that there's a lot that needs to come out detox-wise too. So, so many factors though. It could be any one of those, and it's, it's hard to say without knowing exactly what that person did and what they're eating and their lifestyle and all that stuff. So, anyways, just again, a lot of factors to consider, which most people don't consider because they just focus on one thing. I had a negative experience, and this was why, and I'm sure it was it. And it's just like, well, it could be another reason too, but... Okay, <laughs> and then they said, and while there are a few things I generally like, thieves, cleaning concentrate, using lavender to help me sleep, etc., they in no way lived up to the crazy hype the Huns were pushing on our private Facebook page. Okay, they were so enthusiastic, and I genuinely thought I was just doing it wrong. So dumb. I never sold the oils, but I did join the monthly subscription and totally obsessed about it. Okay, so they admit to buying them because of a friend's recommendation, but they went through the site, not through a person, and then they 
were purchasing it because they were receiving some value from it. So to totally just go back on that and just diss the company or, you know, just be glad they quit, for me, that's a red flag. I mean, you're in control of your thoughts, words, and actions and what you put in and on your body. That is a level of ownership that I'm not seeing here. And again, it does take some consumer discernment or education to make sure that you choose, choose well or wisely on the front end. But to say that maybe, I think they're implying that, oh, I got sucked in or, you know, I have no responsibility in my own personal decision making process and I received value, that's why I kept buying it. Or, you know, like the personal responsibility element I think is missing so often and that's normal. I mean, people don't want to take responsibility for stuff. That's just, that's just normal. <laughs> so, um, but it's so important that we do, especially own our part and stuff or admit that, hey, you know, I did receive value, but, you know, it just wasn't for me long term. You know, that, that just wasn't a good fit for these reasons. So, anyways, here we go. Let's see what her reasons are for quitting, uh, if we can get to it here. She said, I would constantly update it, uh, debate with myself which oils to get that month, see what free oils were if I spent over $100, etc. I have spent a couple thousand dollars and wasted so much time and energy on this. Not if you're receiving value, and if you spent that much money, then you're receiving some value, especially if you're using the oils and you know their benefits. So, again, I, I'm still not seeing a reasonable reason why she quit. <laughs> so, they said, I always had a weird feeling about how much the Huns were pushing everyone to use oils, probably because they have some benefits to people and uses that could help be a replacement cost to other stuff. Okay. Um, they always had online classes, including oils in the bedroom. Okay, they got a little face right there. Right there, you see that? Okay, mm-hmm, family show, right? <laughs> Posted Facebook live videos, live streaming from convention, make it Monday updates, etc. I thought it was fine to just stay on the periphery and make my monthly purchases, but no longer. I will continue to use oils occasionally. Okay, so they still value oil use, but okay, I'm still not really understanding why, what's the problem here? but I will buy them from a non-MLM company. Okay, so that is maybe more of what they don't like MLM companies because, and I'm done obsessing and exposing myself to this toxic community. Okay, so they've only been talking about how to use the oils, so I'm, I'm still not understanding what's going on here. Okay, they said three items to note. Okay, here we go. Hopefully this explains and, and clears things up. The college roommate that I learned about this from is a single mom, which is depressing as that she is swept up into this. Not really. Um, if you're trying to help your child and yourself with your health, then that makes sense. Um, they said, I emailed Young Living to cancel my monthly subscription and five days later I haven't gotten a response. I emailed them previously and they were pretty responsive so this is definitely intentional. Okay, maybe they just haven't gotten around to you. Could we get a lot of emails? I mean, let's try to give the benefit of the doubt, right? Suspend disbelief a little bit. So I just deleted my credit card from my account. I'm free. Okay. All right. Anyways, they said a vegan diet and small amounts of prescription cortisone are finally what worked to clear up my son's eczema. And they said update. Just called consumer services and was able to cancel with no problem. So it seems like calling was better. Um, they tried to guilt you into staying a bit, but it was no worse than other customer service talking points I've heard. And they said I'm out. So number of comments on this one. This got a lot of comments. Um, at this time of this video, 134 comments. And I mean, I still haven't heard any reasons besides it's anti-MLM and you know, they have an anti-MLM position and they had a negative experience with the oils when they took it internally. Um, but that, <laughs> I've had negative experience with the oils because I put too much on my arm. It was oregano and I didn't dilute it. Am I going to quit the company and then bash it on Reddit and leave a long post so I can get 134 comments? No, I mean, like, and that's with doTERRA, not Young Living. But at the same time, it's like, I don't know. I just don't think people are trying to be reasonable. I think they're just venting and ranting because it is like, yeah, it is an MLM. And I found a community. They admitted it here. You know, I found a community that basically can affirm me in my decisions. I think that is, it seems like what they're maybe valuing. <laughs> um, the fact that they spent over $2,000 in oils, like clearly they receive value from it. Like you don't just spend $2,000 unless somebody's a gun to your head and forcing you to open up your, you know, your wallet or your purse and bust out your credit card and spend something. Like you purchase something intentionally. Like let's admit that. And they still want to use oils. 
but they haven't really talked about why not Young Living, besides it's an MLM company. So, and they were a customer, which is very interesting, right? It's not the business side, it's not a distributor side, it's the customer side. So, based on this, I, I really haven't heard any really strong reasons. I've heard reasons, I to MLM, had a negative experience internally, but again, that's, I wouldn't, I personally would say that's not enough to leave a, leave a company from a customer standpoint and write a Reddit post. What do you think though? Do you think that those are legitimate reasons? Do you think maybe they need to be fleshed out more? Do you think there's maybe other reasons? Anyways, leave your comment below. That concludes today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to hit the like button if you did. Hit subscribe for future video updates if you haven't already done so. And most importantly, check out the links in the description below so you can read this original post, get more information, and the comment sections, which are very interesting because you get a lot of different um, anti-MLM perspectives, basically. <laughs> um, and, you know, I encourage people to just try to look at both sides, even if you don't agree or like what is being said. So at least try to look at both sides. All right, other than that, thank you for watching again, and I'll see you in the next video.